Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Mass Effect 3. In the last episode, the Normandy landed on the Citadel after Ashley, or Caden, was badly injured by Dr. Eva, a Cerberus recruit on Mars. Shepard is now about to meet the Consul to hopefully get help for Earth against the Reapers. Hello, Turian. Behind this door is human ambassador Udina's office. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Counselor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. So we finally meet the Council? The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tetris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. Oops, sorry, my mistake. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. I didn't save the Council in Mass Effect 1. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. No, I call that a deal sex, McKenna. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? Absolutely. So it would seem. It's immense, and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? I believe in trying. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Adina's right. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. Udi, that's right. Listen to this. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. I never thought I'd said something like this one day. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, keep me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Another cinematic with Odin at this time? They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? After Mars, here is our first priority mission. Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Balvin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... So, favors for favors. You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. Yeah, absolutely. That will not be the first mission we will be doing in this playthrough. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. 
and there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Okay, you have the ability to talk with Udina. And there's one new mission. Priority, Palavan. So, we'll not be chatting with Udina so far. Just, just have a look at the Presidium. That's a nice touch, you know, a throwback at Mass Effect 1. Let's get out, and to start with, let's visit the Spectre office. It's now available, and there isn't much to do here for now. Uh, you can either use the Spectre terminal, to check your mail. Welcome and Quarian Fleet Intelligence. Simply stated, it says that the Quarians are focusing on the Geth rather than the Reapers. And this is the Spectre Requisition Office where you can find objects you missed in your missions. You can also find weapons that are very expensive. I don't think I will be able to buy them. So here you can try to shoot. This is an armored target. And if you push this button, it will reset the target. You can, you know, just focus on trying to understand how it works, so you see targets with help die very quickly, whereas targets with armor die slowlier. With the shields it's different, it's advised to use a fast firing weapon against the shields. And it's better to use a heavy weapon like a heavy pistol or a shotgun against armored targets. Once you're finished, you can go out. There isn't really anything to do here. I thought it was a nice addition. Let's go down the stairs. And let's see who is around. James is around here, number four. Let's have a quick chat with him. Hi, buddy. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Not your kind of place. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. It's hard to believe. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Finally, James saw the light. It's the fact that Shepard asks uh, James whether he wants to go back to Earth is a reference to... Welcome, Commander Shepard. 
One moment. An event that happened very early in the game. The first confrontation you had with James. Now arriving at docking bay D24. So there isn't anyone around. If you haven't recruited the journalist in the lobby, then you should now. Well, if you want war sets. And once you're ready, you can go back to the Normandy. Yara is nowhere to be found in the Citadel. And here we have our first dream sequence. The legend has it that if you just wait, uh, it's, it's going to end by itself. That happened to me only once, and that was the third sequence in the game, not this one. So I don't know really how long you have to wait. I didn't want to do that, so that's why I you know, played the game and I not. That the first time I experienced this sequence, I must say I was, well, unsettled a little. Because I was like, well, is it like PTSD or I don't know. And I wasn't sure what to believe, like, is this boy important? Why? And why would it be important? Well, this question hasn't been answered so far. There are so many theories about who this boy is. But anyway, yeah, just a camera swap here. I find it funnier to do that this way. I don't know, just some variation in the gameplay. Yeah, well, I don't need much to have fun. Burn, baby, burn. And dialogues again. <sighs> First with Liara, and secondly with uh, Samantha Trainer. So let's do it. Liara. Can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Okay. I know. Are you alright? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Everyone back on Earth. When the Reapers hit. I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I wasn't. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's okay, it's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Yeah, welcome. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. 
I apologise for the deception. Thanks, Edie, and I apologise for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. That's a tutorial, basically. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Really? Thank you. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Great. Fantastic. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. Okay, why not? We'll be spending time there. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And I think she's a um, gig. there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. And there's the last conversation with Admiral Hackett. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. I understand that concern. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Aye, aye, Admiral. So this is the war room, and we have some new intelligence moth kit for armor. I'll be using those later in the game. War assets, so you can just look at your military strength. It's not that impressive for now. And you can also have the detail of all the war assets you hired throughout your game. Interesting, isn't it? This is what uh, Morden's lab has become. There isn't much left. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own border. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. And there's our first secondary mission on Sanctum, which is a multiplayer map. First, let's go to the crew deck, deck number three. I'm going to check on Yara. This is what it feels like to be the Shadow Broker. Isn't that wonderful? Yara has become media mogul. And this is Glyph. The drone. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. Thank you. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Thanks. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. So this is the mod kit. For each mod kit, you have a choice between two options. The meeting was less than ideal. 
At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered. I think. I'm not choosing now. Uh, I'm waiting a little to see exactly what I need. Let's talk to Liara instead. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? Uh -huh. They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Agreed. Agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. I appreciate your asking. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. If you had a romance with her, she will bring up the topic. Hello again, Shepard. Tell me more about the Prothea device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high-tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. The information drone? You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. Feels like a bug. Look at Shepard's head. What kind of distraction? And how did you get away? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. Oh my god, look at that. I don't head. think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you look me in your face, agree. bastard? I'm talking to you. Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. Neither did I. I saved what was crucial. Sorry, Yara. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. My face is tired. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. And what happened to Farron? So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry mm. less. That situation is just ridiculous. They're talking together, and they aren't even looking at each other. That's ridiculous. What's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. <laughs> I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. The broker terminal will bring you further information about different things, you know, little things. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. It's interesting, it gives some novel aspect to Mass Effect. Though this novel aspect is not new. It's just more pronounced in this uh, episode. It's like, you know, war is told through the eyes of many individuals. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. And from many perspectives. Let's go to the weapon upgrades. I want to upgrade some weapons to Katana up to rank 5 if I can. And of course I can, so I'm doing it. It's um, it's important to have strong weapons on Insanity. For now that's all I'm doing. And talking about that, let's see. 
which new codex entries we have. So Don Oladina, Menai and Palavan, where we will be heading in future episodes. Palavan is the capital of the Turin. And the Reapers, we have a few, we have some information about Reaper variants, capital ships, and other types of Reapers. Also, the Reaper Wall, the Fall of Tetris, Reaper Capabilities, and the Planet Sanctum, where we will be heading in our next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching this one, and I see you in the next. Bye. Thank you.